everybody, it's your boy, Dude the John here. Thank you so much for watching this video. Much appreciated. If you like the content, please hit that sub button. If you haven't already, hit that notification bell to let you know when I post another video for you guys. Hit that like button. And if you want to, drop a comment and say hi. I also live stream Monday, Wednesday, and Friday over on trouble.live slash Dude the John, 9 p.m. Central Time. Hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoy making making them. Let's get into this video, shall we? Hi. <laughs> this is five scary videos you really don't want to see. Put together by Chills. <laughs> uh, I don't know which one you're going to see first. I think you'll probably see this one's after. But anyway, the last video I watched, reacted to, scared the living freaking shit out of me, and my heart is still pounding from it. <laughs> Shills, I hope you can do the same thing in this video, because I want to be scared even more. <laughs> Let's go. You really shouldn't watch these videos, or else you might see something so scary you'll wish you never saw it. Number 5. A YouTuber named D-Dog Vlogs has been uploading since mid-2016 and okay. specializes in exploring haunted places that are about as scary as they come, with a preference for historic locations whenever possible. He has been known to pair up with the likes of Mo Sarji and others in an effort to push his paranormal investigations to greater lengths and solidify his place in the YouTube ghost hunting community. On January 20th of 2020, he heads to a single-story home that is rumored to hold secrets so terrible that no one in the community wanted to share any details oh aside God. from a basic address. Curious, he heads to the site with fellow ghost hunters, Tay and Carlo, to see for themselves what this house holds. The first thing they Was notice is a glowing yellow light that flickers oddly over a door that's bolted shut. It's one of the only working lights left in the house, and it's shining like a beacon to get their attention. But look at that room. That's creepy. But more on that in a moment. For now, watch how the camera goes out of focus like something uh, or someone invisible like is standing right in front of them. <laughs> it happens again here at exactly three minutes and ironically goes on until he's finished asking people to comment if they see anything. Now, I don't know if these places are haunted or not, so comment down below if you guys see or hear anything. I'm not saying they're haunted, I'm just not sure. After some more exploring, they return to this mysterious locked door and see marks where it had been repeatedly drilled shut with a padlock. Something incredibly strong must have been in here at one point, and the family must have been intent on keeping it contained. Yet when they open the door, they are surprised to find a colorful race car border above. This is a kid's room of all places. They oh suspect that a child was locked in here for long periods of oh time. My God. I think the evidence proves that much is true. Perhaps they were even kept here well into adulthood, might I add. Furthermore, they seem to think this section of the door was either struck or clawed out over time, possibly after an extended period of isolation, oh which would God. require immense strength. I think it could simply be termite damage, but you tell me. So I want to know I why no you think the child was locked in here. It could have been evil parents or behavioral problems. Most the extent likely. to which they had to go in order to keep the child contained seems to indicate an extreme psychological state that would require them to be on alert at all times. Their child mm. probably needed to be kept away from sharp objects and locked in at night so that they don't do something drastic uh -huh. to themselves or to their parents while they slept. On the contrary, maybe that's not the case at all. And the child had evil, disturbed parents who did this for no reason. Well, D-Dog explores a different abandoned house two months later on March 28th. And this investigation gets so crazy that I need your help to figure out if it's real. Is this red paint? Or is it what I think it is? I really hope not. That's so much. At 2 minutes and 10 seconds, it kind of looks like somebody got jabbed in the corner, stumbled a few steps forward to the center of the room, and then went to the doorway. Then they doubled back, still leaking, and probably crumpled in this corner where the trail ends, or maybe that's where they were put by someone else. 
tiny red splotches That's leading upstairs gives me the impression that more than one person was here. This red substance has dried against the wall and hardly looks reassuring. And That's sadly, blood. in the corner of this upstairs room is more evidence. But creepiest of all, even more so than what's on the wall or on the floor, is what's in this small, unassuming corner, or rather what happens when they go near. This is the only part of the video that becomes blurry, and for no reason at all. It's as if something is trying to get their attention, and perhaps figuring out for the first time that it is crossed onto the other side and can no longer communicate with the living. Now you're probably wondering where the homeowners were, and so was I. But with a basement flooded with solid ice, I think we both know the answer. Number 4 This worrisome video oh, I'm so about to show about you was posted on March 18th of 2017 by a person who had been teetering on the edge of self-destruction for years. Things were much worse this time. Something, something seems to be after me. I, I don't know what else to say. Except... Goodbye. You'll never guess what he does next, but first let me tell you what he has been through. His psychological torment would begin in early 2015, approximately two years before his final goodbye. That was when someone began knocking at his door, almost every night, for days. He lives all alone and is a very private person, so introverted in fact that we never learn his name. For him to have a visitor is not normal let alone in the middle of the night. The knocks were annoying at first, but he figured it would stop if he ignored it. But when that didn't work, he decided to start documenting everything early on, in case he needed to take it to the police or something later. He also decided to confront it and defend himself if need be. This incident, taken on February 12, 2015, starts with two knocks that are so soft, it would be easy to think you're imagining them. But after three weeks of harassment, he is frazzled and hears every noise, so he springs to action ready to meet force with force, but there's just one problem. There's no one there. Nothing is ever there to confront. Listen closely to this part, because I hear chatter after he locks up. He installs a second camera outside the very next night on February 13th, 2015. Friday the 13th to be exact. Of course. Sure enough, it starts again. He opens the door and no one's there. It's not two different videos put together either, because his movements in both videos sync perfectly, like at 1 minute and 15 seconds when he smooths his hair. Even oh if he practiced God. this routine, it still wouldn't be this dead on. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention that this happens at 3 a.m. every night. Anyone would want to move and he absolutely did, but his money situation meant he couldn't either continue to endure this or go homeless in the middle of the winter. Eventually, oh he decides God. to go outside before 3 a.m. and see if he can catch whatever or whoever is doing this on video. He doesn't see them, but he does find footprints leading away from his house house into the woods. The footprint is separated in two halves, more like a hoof print than a foot, yet two oh legs God. instead of four. Some people have said this could be a demon or even a cryptid. I don't know about all of that, but I know that he really did go out at 3 a.m. and I know this because I hear a train throughout the video. That don't mean anything. Oddly enough, this late night train is heard in all of his videos, and I think could be closely related. Something bad must have happened on the nearby tracks. I don't know. By August 28th, whatever had left those footprints was looking Hell. for other ways inside both day and night. No longer was it confined to 3 a.m. Tell me if this is an animal or something way worse. I 
I didn't hear any claws tapping. This was the sound of somebody fast. A raccoon or a possum would be doing this at nighttime. This was something big in the middle of the day, like a restless spirit. So after years of experiencing this and other similar encounters, perhaps you'll better understand why. After saying goodbye in March of 2017, you simply decided to open up the door and stop. Goodbye. Whatever that what was, the fuck? it sounded far from being a person. Over two years later, this mysterious final video was uploaded on January 1st, 2019. Those sound like church bells. Maybe this is a clip taken from a funeral. Could it be his? And whoever typed these replies doesn't act like him at all. Number 3. Oh Corey God. and Devin are two YouTubers who have a shared channel. Where they Oh my god. I I'm speechless after that video. I'm I'm speechless. They go on all kinds of adventures as well as family vlogs. They haven't updated in over two years, but the videos are still there for all to see, and some of them are, believe it or not, are convincingly paranormal. The videos I'm talking about center around Nona's Pizzeria in Magna, Utah, a family business with a terrible secret, a long-standing curse first brought upon them generations okay. ago by a vindictive small-town witch. The curse is said to have opened a portal to channel forth numerous spirits, including the incorrigible witch herself, who remains as mean and evil as ever in the afterlife. Corey and Devin are not a professional ghost hunting channel by any means, and they have little experience dealing with the paranormal aside from television. But when oh they get a chance to visit one of the locations, they recognize from a show called Ghost Adventures, they are eager to go, and so on October 21st, 2017, they find themselves face to face with the owners and most recent inheritors of the curse. A dark entity haunts this place, old as the building itself. Sometimes it appears to their son as a little girl who wants to play. Sometimes it grabs them by the throat. The owners say that if they try to sell the business, the spirit has confirmed that it will burn it to the ground. They are to live and suffer the curse for all generations to come, or else pay the price through financial ruin. They suspect it's coming from the attic, so the first step is to set up a grid of lasers to see if anything blocks the light. Sure enough, they record this black floating blob on night vision. The rest of the wooden beam is a much lighter color except for the head of the shadow figure. They go into the attic space with cameras and try to catch something up close. It's almost too dark to see anything but... I have some very creepy vibes. I can see the green lights. The camera cannot seem to keep focus, almost as if somebody is standing directly in front of Corey, though nobody is there. They're kind of going in and out. <laughs> As soon as they start talking about how the demonic force always seems to congregate in this particular spot, they hear a confirmation. I'll play it with the sound up. Do you hear it? In this area here. It was a scream in my opinion, and the K2 meter goes all the way up at the mere mention of its presence. Eventually, they track the exact spot where they think it's standing, and they suspect it needs more electricity in the air to better communicate. They say they are going to give it more energy, and at this point, it seems to fully understand. You are more than welcome to take from this energy, okay? And true to their theory, when they charge the air with a taser and call it by the old family name of Cooper, they find the ghost is finally able to push the meter into the red, not once but twice. Come on, Cooper. Thank you. Thank you. Cooper family. Yes, is that who it is? Are we right? Are we right? All within 11 seconds, so I think something is standing with them and it's not real. But soon a different force sweeps across the room, possibly the witch. They use a simple yes or no communication method to determine that whoever they are talking to wishes to do them harm. Are you trying to use, are you trying to use my weakness against me? See? 
By now, the Coopers seem to have fully retreated, and the attic feels much different now, like an intruder is here. And when they break out the heavy equipment for an EVP session to determine if they are correct about this change, this single word is broadcast very clear. Evil. 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 Do you think this says evil like they claim? Because I hear it, and when they try to tell it to clarify, it has three words that I also hear quite well. Tell me if you can hear it too, or if you think something else is being said. Try to focus a little stronger and make it come out a little clearer, please. On your name. I think it's pretty clear that the curse is legit and oh maybe they should God. make the spirit stay true to its word and leave this place for good. Number two, oh a man my has God. been plagued by a demonic invasion that refuses to give him peace. On February 9th of 2017, he records not one, but two shadow figures ominously standing nearby. All you can do is hear his nasal breathing as he watches, stunned and trying not to scream, all while this heavy drape breathes in and out all by itself. Watch how it moves. That's not the wind. Besides, it was staying still for the past 4 minutes and 40 seconds prior, and you don't even want to see what's moving on his other window. I'll show you its true form in just a little bit, but for now let's focus on a couple different incidences first. On July 22nd of that same year, he is turning over a crystal again and again, possibly in hopes that some of its protective energy will rub off on him. Slowly but surely, this bright spot begins to manifest itself before his very eyes, starting at 1 minute and 33 seconds. Hope turns to horror as the omen spins around to reveal a grinning reptile-like face that he sure is the lord of the underworld himself its stony face shrouded in half-darkness. This ties into a separate incident 12 days earlier on July 10th. That's when he claims to have recorded what he calls a ghoul lurking in the bush outside of his window. When you pause at 3 seconds, it does look like the top half of a skeletal face that soon disappears into the bushes, black eyes and all. That definitely wasn't a normal animal, so what yes. was it? It looks remarkably creepy. similar to the face seen in the crystal nearly two weeks later. Sometimes it would show up in the most unlikely of places, like the folds of a piece of fabric as shown here on February 15th, 2017. Do you see the creepy goblin face with a long nose, big ears and open mouth? I can even see an eye. And that's the more friendly of the two faces. This second one looks like two worried eyes and a mouth locked in a permanent scream. There's not as much detail and some of the features are disproportionate and misshapen, but it's still there nonetheless. So now that you've seen the demon's face a few times, I suppose you are ready to see the rest of it and the rest of the original no. video. This is what he saw <coughs> crawling into his home that fateful early February day. What the hell? This upside down creature is in fact one of the many beings who he claims to see on the regular. It's hard to make out exactly what this is, but it's harder still to disprove it and it gives me a bad feeling all around. I tend to believe this video, and all of these sightings for that matter. He claims the quality of the video has somehow sharply deteriorated over time since uploading and that the being at one point looked more detailed and even had horns. I don't see how this is possible for a digital copy to become less clear, but the colors do look muted here and apparently were brighter. So I want to know if you uh -huh. think that this man is legitimately seeing demons around his house, or if this is all happening in his mind. As much as I want to believe this is a delusion like some people think it is, I don't necessarily agree. The problem is I do see a lot of what he claims on video, so there's a good chance it could be true. I've got a challenge for you. No idea. Since you've made it this far, why not like this oh, video and I hit subscribe no in the next 5 really seconds? No because I upload 4 new scary videos every week. If you're it curious about folks. what I look like in real life, then go to my Instagram at Dylan is chillin YT no, right? and tap that follow button to find out. 
Number one, Luan Mendez is a YouTuber who is unafraid to put his life on the line in the name of a paranormal investigation. And as this video goes to show, ready to explore the scariest local legends he can find, one such legend revolves around a dismal force known only as La Sinjora Fantisma or the Ghost Lady. The Ghost Lady is said to still roam the home she passed away in years ago. In okay. life, she earned a reputation as a taker of lives and lived a wicked existence full of hatred until the very end her oh spirit is said to still reflect in the bathroom mirror if you go in there and call upon her for an unholy visit, oh, which Jesus. is tonight's goal, they start by rather rudely calling her name outside of the property, hoping to get her to come through the window. She doesn't appear, so they step inside. The place has been stripped bare, but overall it looks somewhat inhabitable, at least as far as abandoned places go. But it's more about the way it feels than its aesthetics. Something about the small and cramped space that feels ill-fitting and all wrong, like nothing good has ever happened here and only unimaginable horrors can befall anyone foolish enough to stay inside. They creep their way to the room where her legendary mirror hangs unblemished amidst the clutter. Luan stands alone while his friends keep watch. His tone is expectant and want, again, I, 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 not very polite as he addresses uh, the infamous I'm, ghost I'm lady in more of a challenge than a request. They are all about to leave, but they decide to try to turn on the shower just to see what happens. To their surprise, clean water drips out of a rusty pipe that shouldn't work and doesn't even have a shower head. This was probably where she hung what was left of the lives she took, upside down and filleted open to drain oh in the shower. God. Seeing this broken shower work again shortly after doubling her powers makes them rethink their situation and wonder if they should have taken a nicer tone. But that doesn't matter because it's too late now. <laughs> They are walking towards the exit and everything seems much more negative and dreadful than the first time around, more of a feeling than anything else, as if a great evil has awoken oh and God. is spreading across the otherwise plain walls. And that's when she appears, not when Luan tells her to, nor in the mirror where she's supposed to be according to legend, but maybe that's the entire point, her house, her rules. They hole up in the room for a while and discuss what to do, but the situation takes care of itself by the time First of all, if there's someone right there that's supposed to be supposed to kill people or is an evil spirit or whatever, why in the hell would you worry about putting up a door again? I would have just booked it and let the door damn fall. Open the door. The lady seems to have proven her point that she is real and vanishes just as quickly as she came. This video would be easy enough to fake because, realistically speaking, all they would need is for an older woman to stand in the doorway, which, coincidentally, is a lot easier to do than actually using special effects to get her into the mirror. For these right. reasons, I think this video might not be real, but that doesn't necessarily mean the legend itself isn't true or that something else wasn't watching them from the shadows all along i dare you to watch yeah i that was too much in detail of a person and i want to say bullshit um it kind of it, it got me at first time watching but after we, we, we played it i was paying more attention to good person detail and stuff and it's got to be a real person. I say it's a real person. I, I, I'm not buying that it's a ghost. But you never know if it's real. Awesome. I don't know if it's awesome, but awesome. If not, you almost... I don't know. Thank you so much for watching this video. Much appreciated. I'll see you guys in the next video. And as always, you are loved.